I am Kathy Ann Dixon. And I am Arlene Owen. Welcome, welcome to, to Azar. Welcome. We want to welcome our family, our Azar family. We want to see to go call up a friend of some family member, your sister, your brother, and tell them that Azar is on. And remember to press that notification bell so that every time Azar is on, you will have a reminder. Write in the comments. We want to hear from you. Press share and like. That's right. You all may notice that we have a new Arlene in the house, eh? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Same Arlene. New hairstyle. I took a big chop. This is my third time and it feels great. Yes, it, 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 it feels good for you and it looks good on you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's Thank so you. cool. Thank you. Well, our tea of the day is hibiscus tea. And I want to show you... Um, it, Looking at, at it, I, when I first heard of hibiscus tea, I thought it was the flower, actually the hibiscus flower. But no, it's really dried sorrel. All right? And there are benefits to it, Ali. Tell us. According to Google, Google states that this boosts your immune system and it's also good for, it reduces the risk of heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. It also prevents cell damages. So wow. it's... It's a good tea to have. Yes, and this time. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's a good tea to have. Yes. Our topic for today is the power of words. But before we go into the topic, we want to shout out some of our Azar family. All right. Good. I'm going to go first. Okay, go right ahead. I'm going to go with shout out to Jeram. I want to send out a shout out to Mrs. Hudson. A shout out to... Mr. Aubrey Dyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a shout out to Anaya Carabayo. Yes. These are regulars who um, they are always on the program. You know, so we want to thank you for being a viewer. Good. I want to shout out Nigel Butler. Also, Sister Monroe. Muriel Jackson. Auntie Mary, we shouting you out. Melvin and Denny Springer. Brother Andy and Sister Denise, shout out to wow. all the regular Azar family. Yes, wonderful having you as part of our family. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about the power of the tongue. The power of tongue. You know, um, when you think about the power of your tongue and the words that you use, which could either bring life or death, what comes to mind is our scripture, Proverbs 18, 21, Kathy, which says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes, which means the tongue has the capacity to bring sickness yeah. or death poverty or riches. Yes, we can use our tongue to create or to build Yes, up, or we could use it to, to destroy, destroy yes. and break down. So, you know, the tongue is so important. You know, James spoke about the tongue and he says that the tongue is like a rudder, that the ship rudder. It is used, you know, the rudder is small, the ship is very big, but it's used for direction for the ship. Yes. And same thing as your tongue. Yes. Your tongue gives direction to your life, to yes. your life situation, yes. to your destiny. Yes. So, you know, we have to be careful how we use our tongue and what we say. That's right. And that same James says that the tongue is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Yeah. And that, that means that it has the ability to cause death. Yeah, destruction. That's right. Damage. That's right. <laughs> yes. So we want to bring an awareness of the power of the tongue so that we ourselves will take be more aware yeah. of how we speak. You know, Katiana, we see God even in the beginning of time use words to create the heavens and the earth. That's right. So you know, and he's our great example. Yes. You know, to create. So, to create. So yes. if he did that and he is God. Yes. We too can use our words to create what we want to see, yeah. what we want to have. And what is so good is that after he created everything, he said it was good. It was good. Which means... He's, he spoke well of it. That's right. Yes. So we need to use our tongue to speak well of That's situation right. and well of things and people. That's right. That's yes. right. That's right. Yes. And I think we should start... As Trinidadians, or as Trinbegonians, with the cultural th cultural things we say, yeah, <laughs> because we have a lot of negative phrases that we use. Let's start with some of the cultural stuff. Some of the things we like to say is when I ask you, you know, growing up in the country, how are you going? Dire, dire. Yeah. Oh, it could be dire, dire. Yeah. 
pork a pork, no, no beef. beef. No, they just say pork a pork, no beef. Yes, why you can't buy beef? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you had chicken. It have all kind of thing in the country, but why are you saying? Yes. Pork or pork? And we know it's not about meat. Yes. But we know that it's you know, yeah, yeah. Like if it's just one small way things yeah, happen, that's you're right. not getting beef, which is more expensive. Like your yeah. life not better. That's right. And dire, dire, you ain't stable, you ain't here, you ain't there. there. Yeah, yeah. You and, understand? Yes. And, and you know, and then there are some things you'll say. You eat the bread the devil need. And, and and we not realizing there's a curse that we're putting on and somebody. People, yes. And we just have to be careful because they are cultural things. What, what about, about poor and polite? Yes, I don't want to be poor and polite. I will take the polite. <laughs> you take the polite, you know, because you know, um we like to sing this song and it's also scriptural. Let let the poor say that I am rich. So why are you saying I am poor? Oh, yes. You know, speak about, speak things that you want to see. Even, yes. you know, you look at your, your, your finances and things might look low. Yes. But don't speak the situation. Don't speak the issue. Don't speak the problem. Speak what you want to see. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it might be happening to the him and I, hmm, like, back bite me, boy. Yeah. No. Yeah. You speaking that over your own self by saying it. Yeah. So, like, it's only for bad things to follow you. Right. You true. want your life to be positive so you don't speak like that Ali no instead no. we should change the language change the language you know and and to change the language Kathy Ann, we really have to spend some time in God's word because God's words have kingdom language that we can learn from that's right that's right so instead we could say you could say I'm dealing with some challenges boy yeah. but I trusting in the Lord I trust in God in the situation yeah. Right now it's looking so good, but my future is bright. Yes, I I am doing well. Yes. You know why you're doing well? You're living. Yes. You're breathing. Yes. You're yeah, walking. Like, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You understand? So we really have to change the way we speak, Katie. Yes. Change the way we speak. That's right. And Katie, and sometimes we like to say, I always get the raw end of the deal. Yes. You're speaking that to yourself. So you will end up getting the raw end of the deal every time. Every time. Every time. You know. So really and truly, we just list some. We mention some, but probably you may think about something. Write it in the chat. Write it in the comments, and let us really stop using some of these cultural phrases that we know yeah and then that, that even that wonder will fall under self-sabotage yeah and then there are other self-sabotaging yeah. words where you say huh i read stupid boy yeah and you know what too i can't make it now yes i can't do that i can't do that i can't so i can't do that yeah not not me now i can't make it i shy yeah and some people go on here my head is like it, my head like my head is screw on right, boy. Yeah, why your head is screw on right? <laughs> <laughs> why you will say that? Yes. And God place a neck here on your head. Yes. You understand? Yes. We really have to think about what is coming out our mouth. Mouths. We could think it, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we have some thoughts because we are human. Yes. But do not let it come out your mouth. mouth. To come yes. out in the atmosphere because we prophesy when the words come out in the atmosphere. And that is what we will reap. That's right. That's so true. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Instead, we could say, I can do it. Yes, I can do all things. Yes, I am able. Yes, with the we help take of God. Our, that's right. That's right. I am a finisher. That's right. You know, you're going and they say, me like, I can't finish this course, now. Nah? Yeah. This thing that's holding back. What years are you doing this course? Better I drop out. You see this course, but I can't, I can't finish it. No, no. I am a finisher. That's right. And when you say that, you put power behind yourself and you say, put on here. Let's get, let's get us through. That's right. That's right. We speak into our future. That's right. That's you know, that right. is what faith is all about. Yeah. Yes. You understand? Yeah. And there are some slangs that we use sometimes that are negative. You know, we Trinis like slang, Katian. Yeah, yeah. And the young people have some that we our age we don't know. Yes. But according <laughs> to some of the young people, let's give them some of these slangs they say. Well, I know for sure. One I don't like the most. I know man. I yes. know man. That it, it is it is ridiculous. You don't want to be normal. You want yes. to be more than normal. Because normal is common regular that's the meaning of normal average and yes. the scripture say we are royal priesthood yes we are the head and not the tail yes oh, yes that could be normal yeah it sounds popular i sounds nice too and eh? everybody just grab onto it and yes. everybody ask them i normal but you're yeah. not realizing you're speaking into yourself a life of mediocrity that's right that's right 
Agree? Yes. Yes. So you know, and we do not live by the world's standard no. of normal. No. Yeah. Again, we want to encourage that we learn the kingdom language and live by that. Yes, and, and another slang is everybody calling one another dog. Horse. That is my dog. Yes. And as I heard recently, <laughs> top dog. That is mean when you're a better one. The better dog. <laughs> the dog in charge. The dog, dog in charge, charge is the top dog. Listen to me, dog does mess all over the place. Yes, you're not dog a dog. Dog bite people. You're not a dog. Dog wild, you have to put dog on chain. Yes. So oh think about God. it. What we are saying when we call one another dog and we call one another horse. Yes. And you know, God separated, you know, humans, animals. Yes. So you, we are humans. Yes. You understand? Yes. So no, no. And not, you all may find me making heavy weather. Yes. But we are not dog and we are not horses. Yes. So we have to stop these things. Yes. What is something else? A horse in a gal. What's a gal? I've been holding it. Holding yeah. <laughs> No, come on, man. We are focused. We have purpose. We cannot be a horse, Katia. Yes, Katian. definitely. Yes. Yeah, no, no. And then we say things like you call one a monster. Yeah. You sit <laughs> among them fellas. Or just say for short monster. Yeah. But we laugh at that because we never heard that before. Never heard that. Never. That is, um, hmm. Younger, younger folks. Yeah. And we only know one monster like Cookie Monster and Sesame Street. <laughs> you understand? So these are some of the slangs we have to stop saying. Yes. On the block, you're calling one away. Say killer. Yeah. Speaking what that. Speaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking that. Yeah, killer, you know, that is a strong one, you all. We can't even laugh at that. That's we, serious. We can't, yes. Yeah. So we really have to be very, very careful, very careful with our with words. Our language, with yes. our words. Mm-hmm. You know, the, um, Katya and Proverbs 16, 24 says that pleasant words are a honeycomb, yes. sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Yes. So when we're calling people dog and killer, those are nothing sweet. There's nothing sweet about that. When we're saying slangs about how we pour and and polite. There's nothing sweet about that. No, it is. You understand? Yes. Poor is, poverty is not sweet at no, all, Katya. And no. you know what it is? To be poor without? Yes. It's difficult. Yes. So we want to use pleasant words. If we have to make up a slang, let it be pleasant. Let it have meaning. And yes, and we want to encourage parents. If you hear your children come on the house and call it one another dog and yeah. things like that. Discourage it. Discourage it. Yeah. Step in and encourage and encourage them that there are better words that they can use, use to address yeah. one another yeah. and to address yeah. people. You know? Yeah. But as we are on to parents, you know, parents sometimes are the perpetrators of negative words. Yes, because sometimes they're cursing using obscene language in the house over their children. Yes. You know? And when the children hear this, Katy, and they are going to school and using those same words. Yes. Because, I mean, mommy using it, it has to be good. Yes. And then sometimes, as parents, you're helping your child with your schoolwork and your ball. Your head hard, you can't self get this. Yes, not realizing you're blocking up that child head more. Eh? Yes. That child want to learn. That child want to do. The child want to, you know, no child wants to fail. That's so right. when that child is encountering problems, there is a root cause. Yeah. And instead of you as the parent saying, I need to help my child, instead you're using dead words and saying your head hard. Canceling your child's future. Yes, and I could use yeah. an example. I struggled with maths mm. and... I remember my daughter when she came home with the math issues. I said, Give math easy, girl. Math easy. It easy, mommy? Yes. And we started to work and start to encourage her. And she just started to get better and better. And I realized encouragement and letting her child feel maybe I could do it. Mm-hmm. It does something for that child. Because you use the right words. Yes. If you had um, gone with the narrative that math's hard, girl, I didn't do that math. Yes. Because I couldn't make with maths. Yes. Maths is a difficult subject. Who creates maths? Why do they have this in the school? Yes. It's your conversation. It's your words. So we just want to encourage parents, please be careful with your words because it affects your child. It yeah. really do. Some other words parents use. I'm sorry I make you. But I didn't plant a fig tree. Yes. It's I will get fig and sell. You hear parents telling children yes. these things. Yes, yes. That would hurt a child to the yeah, core yeah. because it makes a child feel what? like nothing. I'm not Why I'm here? Yes. Why I'm here? I don't belong. I don't belong. And sometimes that is how our children go into depression and even commit suicide, Kathy yes. because they feel like they have no worth. If my own parent could tell me, "Better I plant a fig tree," then why am I here? Yes. 
So, you know, parents, I know sometimes, you know, sometimes as parents, we get angry, Katian. And um, in that mood, we see things without thinking. But the thing about it, you could change your mood, yeah. but you cannot change your words that was already spoken. Yeah. That hit the child like a sword, like a knife. Yes. You know, and damage your child's self-esteem, the self-worth. Yes. So while you, you have to be careful in a moment when you are angry or emotional, better you stop, think yeah. before you speak. Yes. And sometimes we tell a lot about children, you're so hard. Mm. What we don't understand is when we say that, the child gets harder. Mm -hmm. They get more hardened because why we have allowed those words to come out. You're so slow. You're moving like if you're retarded. Yes. We're saying things and we don't understand. We're angry. But when we are angry, we need to stop. Yeah. As Arlene said earlier, because dead words come out yeah. and dead words cause great harm. Yes, you know, I was reading one author that said that words are like a snare. And we know what a snare is. A snare is something like a noose they use to trap animals. Yeah. So when our words trap us, it choke our future, it choke our children's future. Whatever the words that we use that are negative, yeah. trap. Yes. The future of your children, the future of your spouse. Yes. So you have to be careful with your words because we want to speak words of freedom. Words that say, go, fulfill your destiny, daughter. Yes. Fulfill your destiny, son. Yes. You could do this. Yes. yes, this might look difficult. But yes. you know what? I know our uncle and our auntie who did it. Yes. And they passed. Because, you know, you might say, I didn't really pass this subject for true. Yes. But always show a positive light. And then sometimes as a parent, you use something physical yeah. your head big like your father yeah when you're doing that you're making your child feel what low self-esteem insecure because especially if you're telling a girl that and she she already somebody in school already troubling her about something yes. you're not feeling as pretty as you should yes. feel and then you come and tell me my head big every minute any mirror squeezing there's nothing you <laughs> you're could trying do. to reshape yes. and reform yes because it's already there or oh, your forehead so big we yes. have to be careful with our words yes. we are the it first may be words same. yes we are the first words that children would hear that's right so we are the ones to do the first building yeah because out there is like a war zone yeah waiting for your child yeah so if you don't build a child and that child goes out there trouble yes, yes yes we have to be so careful yeah and then sometimes we use words as some parents they are not too happy with the children complexion and we keep saying how oh, how you come out so dark yes and you're saying that for the child to hear yes but why are you so dark? Yes. Or well, aunt or uncle come and yeah. say, I like that one. I like the fair one. Yes. I like the fair one. You see the fair one? We have to be very, very careful yeah. with that. Yeah. Because yeah, you're big enough the fair one, but you don't realize you're chopping up the dark one. With your words. With your words. With your words. They're insensitive, you know. That's right. But they are death words. Death words. So yes. we have to be careful with our words. Yes. Then we move on to teachers. Yes. You know, teachers are like second parents, and we understand we are seeing so much of fighting in school, and we know they have a difficult job to do. Yes. And we know at times children could be miserable, Katya. Yes. And, um, but still, as parents, we want to, teachers, sorry, we want to encourage you to speak words of life yes. over them. Yes. You're going to end up in jail. Or yes. if not, I've seen you six feet under in about five years. Yes, yes. You have no future. Yes. That is not something to tell a child that you're supposed to be teaching. Yes. You understand? I know you are seeing something else but i i know of children who will testify and say because of this teacher yes. i was able to do this because of this teacher this teacher made me feel like somebody yes so you true. know yes and um you could be that teacher yes be that teacher with an encouraging word use your words to build up this child. Yes, yes. See what is happening with this child and use your words to encourage. To say, listen, you want to become a doctor? You could do this. Yes. I believe you could do this. Yes. I believe you could do the sciences. People just need one person to believe with them and speak the right word in their life yes. and they will go for yes. it. 
There are some teachers will say, you're done, son, you're wasting my time. Get out of my class. Yes. That is a terrible thing to say to a child. Yes. And teachers have to be very careful. I have a friend, her daughter, right now she's in her 30s. But she was told that by her teachers since then and a child among to nothing. Hmm. That child finished um, university level, but her esteem is still so low and it everything took long to happen because she always felt she she wasn't good enough. Yeah. She couldn't do it. So she struggled right through because the, that teacher's her words were strung throughout her years, even now affecting that child. True. And sometimes as teachers, Kathy and we have a favorite child. And we are telling the next child in class, why can't be like Janet? Yes. You understand? Yes. And in we, front of the child. In front of the child. Yeah. Causing the child to even hate Janet. Causing the child. Yes, so true. Yes. So true. So, you know, I know these things happen, and sometimes we might go home and say, you know, we should never have said it. Yes. But we want to encourage you, please do not compare and speak the word. Yes. You know, because sometimes, ja while you might like Janet in one area, Janet might have a downfall in the next area. That's right. You understand? Yes. Our, our, our weakness. Yes. Look at all the strengths of the children and speak that. Yes, very true. Don't speak their weaknesses and only tell them they already know yes so speak their strengths speak the good things you see about them speak it out loud in the atmosphere and even if you are seeing them going the wrong way prophesy wellness direction speaking to them speaking to them yes. you know and be that mentor you know up to recently my husband was telling me Kathy and um, we were talking about Father's Day and he was talking about Reverend Hollister Jackson how he believed in him and he spoke good words over his life and that he he remember him resting his hand very softly on his head while he's sleeping and praying over him yes so he spoke the words that he in, wanted to see in masculine yeah you understand and thank god i must thank god for reverend jackson yes because of him the spoken words yes he is who he is today so we have to speak what we want to see and you know that's a good advice for parents that your child um, behaving a certain way but you can pray what you want to see yes. in your child yes and good when they're sleeping good pray on the pillow pray on the head pray on the foot and prayers are words yes you see words are really used to create yes so speak it out speak it out in their room speak it while you're walking down your corridor speak it while you're sitting down next to them yes speak what you want to see say child i see in you you know yes. i see in you already as the lawyer the doctor the pastor the preacher the evangelist. i see you talking to nations i see you singing to speak it yes and give the child a dream a when, vision yes when you boost. speak it they believe it that's right yes you boost their self-esteem and watch them now they start to walk like pick up yes, i can do this feeling good because of a spoken word that's right that's right and as you're talking about praying and spoken word what about this coming out now power of this power of that words even in the church yeah oh shh. yes say it easy say it easy yeah. <laughs> yes you know to kathy and because um in the church sometimes we forget um we know the word yeah. we know what the word say we know the kingdom language yes but in this situation at the time sometimes we forget and we speak words that we shouldn't speak yes but sometimes we just grow up speaking those words yeah and we haven't reached that place to understand that they are dead words they are dead words you know you know because sometimes kathy and you know um mm. you, you may see somebody and you may say them always doing that yeah. Oh, oh, you'll see, you'll see. Watch them again, them three months. Again, them three months. Yeah, so look what she, I don't see where she headed already. Yeah. She look like she going on a good road now. Yeah. Well, 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 because of what we know. Yes. We supposed to say, you know what? I want to walk at the side of that person. Yes, that child struggling. That, you understand? And I see it. Yes. Because the Lord show you. Yes. And you say, I will be the person to encourage her. Yes. I will be the person to pray her through. Yes. And every time you see that person, although you know what you see in the spirit, as we say, yeah. you speak otherwise. Speak like So that that child also, or person, will hear. Yes. You know? And sometimes too, um, in, in church, we see somebody going good. Or, or a young person trying their best, and we may make jokes and say, they feel they're too holy. What is that? 
That is very bad. That's just to hold back the child. Yes. You should encourage a child that wants to chase after God. Yes. So you know, go to mentor that child to ensure that that child on the right path with, yes. with a spiritual walk. That's right. So you wouldn't have to say they feel they're too you, holy. They're too holy. Yes. You know, and and that's a lot of times adults. You know, let no man despise the youth. Youth. The youth. Yes. And young people, we should encourage them in ministry. Don't say they're too young or that, you know, you're too young for this. No, you doesn't matter. Yeah. We see young people in the Bible. You know, j just today I was telling Marcin about Marshall Montano and he wasn't in the Bible. And he's not in the Bible. And, he was, and yes, they say I'm too, too young, young to soak Yes. And when he sang that he was 11 years and cutting the words of that song, he prophesied. Yes. He saw them making jokes. They wanted him to enter the young kings. Yes. He said, no, no, no. I go in the big fire. Yes. I go in the big men. Yes. He plays last. But where you went after that? Thank you. And his words came to pass in the song. Yes, yes. No, everybody know who is this man. Yes. And you know what? I want to commend his parents. Yes. They did not study what the other people the were same. saying. Yes. They did not take on their words. You know what they say? Go, Marshall, go. Yes. You could do this song. Yes. And they fix him up and they put him in the pampas, remember? Yes. And he sang, they say, are too, too young, young to soak. And, and why it is we are saying that people are too young to be in ministry? Yeah, I know. And think about Daniel. Daniel and the three Hebrew boys. They were in the early, te early teens. That's right. And yet they were standing up for God. That's right. And deciding not to take part in, in with, the, with the king's meat. They were making choices that was strong and bold. Yes. At what, that age. I was talking about Esther. Only time I read about Esther, I thought Esther was well, a, big, only, a big woman. She's a young girl. But Esther is a young girl. But some authors say she was 14 to 20, between the ages of 14 to 20, cutting and she saved her entire nation. So come on, these they are not too young. What about Mary? Mary was 14 yes. years old when the angel visited her to tell her that how oh, she going to have, have a baby. A baby. And yes. who, we know who it is. The savior of yes. the world. Yeah. Yeah. So let us not look down on young people. Yes. Agree? Be, be careful with our words. Yes. And sometimes we use our tongues to curse people. I remember a leader once told four of the young people in the church that I was going to at that time. And I was mentoring them. He told all of them. I will see all of all you pregnant. And do you know what happened? Every single one of them get pregnant. Because there's power in words. There's power in words. Mm -hmm. It was so sad to see. But I thank God that those girls got this bounce back and caught themselves. And they're all doing well now. But it was bad for someone with so much influential power to use those negative words. On those children. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we really have to be careful with our words. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Because he who knows better should, should do, do better. better. Hebrews yes. ten twenty four says, Let us consider how to stir up one, one another, another. Yeah. in love yeah. and good works. And good works until the day of God's coming. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. you know we are in church, so amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the written word? The written word. Kathyan, the written word. You know, I, I see on Facebook, Katian, we write a lot of things on Facebook and it's not even scriptural. Yes. It's not even correct. And sometimes we like it. A friend put it so we like it. No, read it and see one, if it makes sense. And yeah. two, if it lines up with the word. And three, is that something you want to put out there? Yes. If it's that language, you shouldn't be a participant. Don't you, no, don't like it. Yes, yes. You know, they, they, they make comments and sometimes, you know, they use it like if you're throwing words to our people. Yes. Sometimes you feel hurt about something. Somebody hurt you, whatever. And you go, and go out there and you just drop something out in the atmosphere on, on Facebook. Do not carry your trash out there. Yeah. Do not carry your trash out there. Life, we are people, we are carriers of life yes. and not of death. Yes. So for everybody, and but especially for persons who say that we are Christians, yeah. carry life words yes. out there. Choose your words. And I mean, um, social media is a good place to evangelize and tell people about the Lord, give people hope. So when you write something... Ask yourself the question, is this life? Yes. Am I sending hope out there yes. on social am media? Am I building? Yes. Am I encouraging? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? What is the motive behind this post? Yes, so true. You know, and um, it is so important. You know, Winston Churchill said 
that if you stop to throw stones at every dog that pass, you will not reach your destiny. Mm -hmm. So don't use words. Your words are throw stone. Yes. Don't be idle with your words. Yes. Use words to encourage, to edify, and to build. Yes, Aline, and today we want to dispel that myth that um, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah. That's a lie. Words hurt. Yes. Words cut like a knife. A knife yes. And we have to be very, very careful. Aline, what are some of the effects of, of negative words? Your self-esteem. One time your self-esteem is hit. Mm -hmm. according to the words spoken on your life especially if they tell you about your physical appearance Kathy yeah. and as a young person you know as young people you know finding yourself your own identity and then somebody tell you something about your physical appearance you want to hide you see young people walking with their head bowed you know they're not looking at you in your eyes because somehow they, they feel insecure yes. and sometimes it's because of some words from a teacher a parent or even a friend yeah you know, so it has that kind of um, impact on young people, which is negative. So that is one way. Yeah. Katian. And it could also create insecurity. There was this young man I know. He he would always stumble. And he would, well, if he's passing the room, he might hit your cup on your cup and fall. Something, he bounce his foot. And clumsy, you know, like okay. clumsy. And what they did, they started to call him clumsy. Now, we all belong to the same choir. So they will say clumsy and put his name. Clumsy thing. And everybody laughing. And no matter what that boy did, something would fall, something would bounce. And a day a guy came to help us with music. He was a, a, an arranger. And while doing it, he heard them call him the name. And he said, what did you all say there? And they called him the name. He says, why are you all doing that? He says, no. What you all are doing is in making this boy stay that way. Change how you all address him. I mean, it was a hard rebuke for the entire choir. Do you know when that was taken away, that boy stopped throwing down and knocking down things? Yeah. And that cemented the fact that there is power in people's words. Yes. And people could speak words over your children, over your family. And we have to know that. Aline? No, do settle for it. Yeah, yeah, because this it was manifesting. You see it. You it call any boy clumsy, and he was clumsy. Yes. So, so if we see that, that's a very good example. Then we must know, Kathy, and one time, let me speak positive words. Because yes. look, if this negative word came to pass, another person I just spoke about um this same situation, clumsy. I remember um Sanford and Son. Yeah, he always on every episode. Elizabeth is a big one, baby, getting a heart attack. And how he died Massive from heart a heart attack. attack. Yes. So we really, it might be funny. You feel it's a joke. No, be careful of your words. And I was reminded sometimes, even when somebody gave us a joke, Katya and I, we laugh. We like to say, oh, God, I'm nearly dead. Yes. You know, so so think about what we are doing. This yes. episode is just for us to juggle our minds yes. a little bit. Yes. And um, think first, think before we speak, as the Bible says say slow to speak yeah be quick to hear and, and slow, slow to, to speak, speak. that's yes. right and i want to mention that same young man now is the owner of a very um successful company with a lot of vehicles on the road yeah a lot of employees the same clumsy yeah because the words were changed yeah he is now secure in what he is doing yeah. so we have to be careful it could also lead to depression yes of course of course Remember, if you keep saying you're, you're poor and polite, you'll get depressed after poverty brings on depression. Yes, I want people to continue to speak negative towards yeah. you, negative towards yeah. you, negative. You feel like you have no value. As you said, esteem affected. I would esteem affected. People could get depressed. People could get down. Yeah. Remember, people, the power of words is something else. It is, it is. It yeah, is. yeah, yes, yeah. So if, if you want to see growth yes. with your children, your siblings, your students yes speak life speak life in with your own self Kathy Ann, yes words of affirmation we want to encourage our audience mm -hmm. to use words of affirmation to bring about change 
from using negative phrases and negative words over your life. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. I can do this. I can do this. I am I, fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, I'm a beautiful black woman with a short haircut. Yes, you understand? that's right. Speak what, what you, you want, want to see over your own, own life. Self. You understand? Yes, yes. I can do this. I am going to do this. Yes. I will become so and so and so. Yes. Speak it. Yes, yes, yes. I remember my daughter was struggling in university. Well, three years passed, she on her fourth year and still struggling. Things was just happening with her. And um, she says, Mommy, I don't know. And I called and I said, listen to me. I am a finisher. Yes. I am a finisher. That's your new quote from today. I am a finisher. And every day she would say, I am a finisher. Folks, when she finished, I remember when she came home the evening, she said, Mommy, I am a finisher. Yes. And, I, I you know, it resonated with her. Yes, And yes. we have to really give them powerful tools to work, to work with. with. Amen. So, so, Aline, what can we tell them to do in case of words coming at them? What can we do? Renounce it. Cancel it. Mm -hmm. and, and and don't just say easy, I renounce that. No, speak it out loud. Yes. I renounce that word over my life because some of the words we know and some are unknown. Yes. Sometimes our great, 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 great grandparents said some things of, and it came down the generation. Yes. So we don't know it. So from today, today's a new day. So we want to start and say, you know what? We renounce every word spoken over our life that is negative. Amen. We cancel it. Amen. We bring it to naught. We nullify it. Yes. And we speak word of life. Whatever was spoken, yes. we speak in life over those words. Yes. And if you are in the present and someone says something like negative at you, one time to yourself say, I rebuke that word. Yes. Or your children. Yes. Over because sometimes we feel embarrassed. I rebuke that word from over my children. Yes. Sometimes you have to turn your back and walk off and say it. Yes. Because of the place you are and who you are and who is in front of you and what they say. Sometimes you have to walk up. You turn and you voice it. I rebuke that. That's I break right. that. That will not fall over my children. Yes. And at the same time you say what is what will what will fall, fall over my children. They That's are right. blessed yes. and every good thing will happen for them. Yes, yes, yes. The spirit of excellence this is, is upon, upon them. them. Yes. yes. That's yeah. so true, eh? Yeah, the spirit of excellence is upon them. Yes. They shall sit in high places. places yes. You know, their lines are falling in pleasant yes, places. Yes. You speak the word yes. over their lives. Goodness and mercy shall follow them. All the days, days of, of their, their lives. lives. Yes. You speak it. Yes. You yes, understand? Yes. And spend time each day, Kathyan, doing that. Yes. Words of affirmation for your own self and for your family. Yes. Because we spend so many times speaking idleness. Yes. Speaking things we shouldn't say. Yes. Set aside some time to speak the things that we should say over our friends and family. Yes. So what you're saying now, we are looking to practice a new language. That's right. Kingdom language. Kingdom call it language. It. Kingdom language. Yes. And yes. there are benefits to kingdom language. That's right. Right. It, that's right. It builds. Yes. It creates. Yes. It gives you a great future. Yes, it brings hope. That's right. And you feel victorious even in times of challenges. Yes, and I want to tell people that as you start to understand um, kingdom language and you start to speak positive mm -hmm. and so that when negative words come at you, you it, it's like water on a duck's back. That's right. It That's just right. run off. That's or right. Or a barge leaf. Or you know, it's make color low it. Yes. <laughs> Take that leaf and put a water. A drop of water on it. Experiment. It doesn't, it just run off. Yes. Why? That is the place we should be because you know why? There will always be negative people out there and detractors out there That's right. who are coming with dead words. So we are giving you tools. Let it run off your back and That's believe right. what God says about you. Amen. 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 So we want to thank you all for viewing again. Yes. And we want to encourage you all, you know, to write in the comments and let us know your experience with negative words and yes. what you did and also tell us probably some affirmations that yes. you know that all the viewers can see when you write it and we can all learn from each other yes and remember to call up a friend yes send this video to a child a young person probably who in school and a teacher probably told them something that was negative yes so send it to them for encouragement and let them know they can do all things in christ yes that's right so it was wonderful it I was mean. wonderful yes you hear the word wonderful, wonderful. Yes. this was good yes Life a great language. episode yes <laughs> 
And it will go places. As we go places. Yes. We speak positive over it. words even over this episode. Yeah. So, Jesus we love our as our family. family. Yes. See you next time. See you next time. God bless you. Thank you.